Mac R Sounds by Z Mod. Trust me, you'll love this one. Let's do this. Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ATS. It is finally here. I know many of you have been waiting for this one as well. Mac R Sounds by Zmod has been released and uh, I'm sure some of you are enjoying it already. But what can we get from this package? Well, we'll see. First, a bit of a teaser. Let's go in here. The booming bassy engine. <laughs> Let's rev it a little. Now oh, that is how an engine so it should sound like. I love how different it is depending on the RPM range. It really starts screaming in the higher ranges, doesn't it? Lovely. The interior sounds just as good. So in this spotlight video, guys, what we'll be doing is I'll be still speaking, but I'll try to minimize that while we're on the road, okay? But for now, bear with me because we are starting from the beginning because it does not only come with the fully custom, fully dynamic engine sounds, it also comes with its own interior and effect sounds. So that means the switches are all custom. Crank that window. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. Wipers. Uh, wrong button. Wipers. Are there even like is that the air coming out? Super squeaky. Love it. Indicator sounds. Let's hear the switches again. Even the Jake brake, the engine brake toggle, has a sound. And yes, it's animated. By the way, this is the Mac R by Harvin, right? And as always, all of these are in the mods list. Mac R by Harvin coupled with the real Eaton Fuller transmissions by Loader Saints, I believe, if I remember correctly, for the more proper transmission settings. Okay, and the parking brake is a bit loud, so uh, you've been warned, okay? Here we go. all the hissing you can imagine and once we engage that again beautiful all right let's hear the engine from inside get that muffled goodness yes i have very long arms i can reach both of those <laughs> cranks at the same time hear how crispy and bassy that is oh my goodness all right, let's do this. Alan is pleased. All right, let's see. So we are somewhere in Canada, uh, Merritt to Penticton. We'll do a test drive along this route. 5A97C. Oh, I'm sure you guys can read that better than me. Looks like there's a brake check somewhere here as well. So we can expect some downhill slopes and that will be the perfect time to check out the engine brake sounds. Oh, and yes hear shifting sounds as well of course we love that amazing all right oh yeah. listen to this guys as we start the engine and as it kind of struggles in the beginning from zero isn't that lovely my goodness I don't know about you, but that is my favorite sound so far. That moment when you're not sure if the engine's going to die on you or not, 
if you'll be able to pull the load properly or not. Speaking of pulling the load, do we have the load properly behind us? Yes, we have. Okay, we have these planks already. Good. Lumber, 14 tons, not too shabby. So this comes with three different types. You have a 285, a 300, and a 350 horsepower variant for this sound pack. As usual, you can buy it from Zmod selfie page. And he actually gave me a copy of this one as early access, but actually not really because I pre-ordered it already. <laughs> so he... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Love that. Uh, at, the, at the brink of extinction, that engine. Alright, but yes, so a little bit of backstory. He, uh, so Zmod reached out to me. Thank you, Zmod, for trusting me enough for it. And uh, asked if I wanted to stream it. And of course, I said yes. But even before he asked, I already pre ordered this sound pack from his site. Oh my goodness, that is so heavy. Okay, I have to shift later because this engine is not as strong the usual ones that we are used to so many different sounds in that engine and I cannot distinguish them so I will need your help guys you comment it out to me okay and help me out because there should be different levels in here very dynamic sounds for the intake for the engine itself for the exhaust so you help me out how to distinguish those and if you spot any other sounds let me know as well. Ooh. There's the turbo for sure, the whistle. Here we go. Jake brake, engine brake. <laughs> There's even some kind of whistling involved in there. I don't know what that is, but I love it. Oh my goodness, that is heavy. I'm using a 13-speed Eaton Fuller transmission with a 3.08 differential ratio, if I remember correctly. Oh, I have to shift later. There we go. There we go. Is that the Peterbilt 362? Might be. No, it looks like a Freightliner. Looked like a Freightliner. As I mentioned guys, I'll try to minimize my talking, especially while well, in the middle of that engine brake action, but I'll still be speaking to balance it out a bit, give a little bit more background. So yes, Zmod offered to give me a copy and he did, but I actually pre-ordered it already. So uh, technically I guess he didn't really give me a copy. <laughs> So yes, all of this, all of these comments are from my personal experience. I have not been told to say anything, of course, as always. Right. That, that being said, I may be more always on the optimist side. As you guys might have noticed in my mod spotlight videos, I tend to focus on the positive things. But to be fair, it's hard to find anything negative about this one. Right? It's, it's hard, man. It sounds this good. The only negative point you could probably think of is the price. Because to be honest, the price is what uh, pushed me off a bit in the beginning. Because it is the most expensive sound pack so far in Zmod's uh, repertoire. So, uh, oh my goodness, that is so heavy. I love it. I love this, gives a bit more challenge. You have to be on the right gear. You have to shift at the right time, otherwise it wouldn't work. Some night driving action guys, I like it. Ah, beautiful. Hello Canada. One sec, what was I saying? <laughs> Of course, I forgot it. Oh my goodness, goldfish memory in action right there. 
one second uh, let me try if I can remember but in the meantime go and appreciate the sounds oh that is heavy looks like there is a brake check spot but it's on the opposite side that means we might actually be climbing through here the rest of the time so hang tight and I'll keep quiet for you to listen to the engine sounds like when I miss a gear ah right that's the same one with the W9 interior pack I think love it oh yes I was mentioning about the price right so the only downside I can see the only negative side that might push some people off would be the price because it is the most expensive one yet from Zmod's uh, arsenal of uh, sound packs. This costs 549, 5.49 pounds. That's British pounds, okay? That's not USD, that's not US dollars. So what? how does that translate to US dollars? I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys compete for yourselves. Somewhere around seven or eight US dollars, I, I imagine. In here, in my local currency, Singapore dollars, it's uh, amounting to 10. 10.50 Singapore dollars, something like that. So it is getting quite pricey. It's still very affordable. But it is a lot pricier than his other mods. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's something to look out for, right? Oh my goodness, that is heavy. But if you can afford that, then I see no other barrier. Now some of you might actually say, well why would I need this? Because it's very timely and I don't think it is in purpose. It's just that I guess great minds think alike. Is uh, Krishboom also released his own Mac R sounds and that one is for free. And that one sounds very good as well. So some of you might think, why should I pay for this when I have a free sound version from Krishpum? Well, only you can decide that. So I highly recommend that you watch videos on both the sound packs and decide for yourself which one you like better. And uh, from there, decide if you're willing to shell out the money. One huge advantage, well, for me, I might be a bit biased because I... I'm very much a, I'm a, a Krishbaum fan, but I'm also a Zmod fan. And recently, I've been very a very huge fan of Zmods. So I really like his work. And for me, initial impression, I like this a lot more. I like these sounds a lot more than Krishbaum's. But you guys let me know in the comments, one, right? I'm, I know, I'm sure, there will be people on opposing camps. And I want to see, I want to see the reasoning, you know? Why do you like this versus the other? Or why do you like the other versus this? Let me know. And uh, let's have a discussion. Oh, there is a brake check. Okay. So what I'll do is we'll do a brake check here. But at the same time, we'll take a short break. Because I would want to rather be driving in the morning. So we have some better visuals, right? So hang tight. And... Uh, we will resume when there are better things to look at because at this point, not very visually pleasing, is it? But granted, that means we probably will be late. But who cares about that? We're just here for the sounds, right? <laughs> We're just here for the sounds. Alright. Parking brake. Ooh, there's a Mac there. Nice. And someone is waiting for me to go. Nah, I'll sleep here. Why not? <laughs> Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. 6 a.m. Beautiful sun. 
We are pretty late though. Yeah, no more time remaining and the guy behind me is still tooting. But the heck with it. Anyway, let's go on with that discussion. What were we talking about? Oh yes, Crash Bombs versus Z Mods. I'm sure both have their merits. I have a bit more of a bias towards Z Mods. So I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Can I squeeze in here guys? I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Look at that runaway ramp there. Alright. So you let me know in the comments and we'll have a very healthy discussion about it. You can agree to disagree. Or you can maybe even convince me. But let me know. So I've listened to both. I've, I've watched that video and I've, I'm driving this one right now. And this one I'm really liking more. But I'm sure because sounds is uh, sounds are very much up to taste, you know, even real life truckers, even people who have been directly exposed to the same truck, it's not uh, it's still not the same. They still have different points of view. Where is 110? 110 is around 70 miles, okay. 110 kilometers around 70 miles. All good. That means we can speed up here. Perfect. So yes, there will be people from opposing camps. And that's great. That's actually perfect because that means we have a choice. And you can't go wrong with either one. But yeah, one thing that uh, this pack has, which we showed initially already, are the interior sounds. That one is definitely unique to this pack. So that might be a very large factor that comes into play. Slow down. Thank you. Oh wow, that engine brake screams, doesn't it? Once you hit it up in the higher revs and toggle it on. My goodness. Very, very nice. I didn't imagine getting excited about driving a Mac R again. It surely is a classic. It's a great truck. But I have not thought of driving this much before until the Mac R sounds were announced and then I couldn't wait for it. But then again, um, I didn't get super excited until I actually got in the truck. Till I actually loaded it up and saw it again because this is super high quality, right? I mean, this Mac R by Harvin and by other people involved, right? this is a work of art. This is like Bayware quality right here. And I believe this is also fully optimized. Oh my goodness, look at that view, guys. We have a thumbnail. We have a thumbnail. Lovely. 90 miles is... Uh, 90 kilometers is around 55 miles. Okay. More or less. Good. Good thing we have that conversion in there. Even if I have to zoom in. At least we're not totally in the dark. Slow it down. Slow it down. And just enjoy the view. Oh, that's the one. Penticton. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. You guys told me about that because I was planning on flying through here. And you guys told me about the... Who was it? Was it Bricks who told me about it? Oh, sorry. I forget. It's either Bricks, Plum, or Scan. <laughs> I think it was Bricks. Correct me if I... My memory... My goldfish memory got it wrong. But someone from the Pro Mods team was helping me out looking for a route because I was we were thinking about that the joint uh, we would call it crossover logistics yeah trucking and flying on a continuous route and we were discussing about having it somewhere here in Penticton maybe delivering something through here and then taking it the rest of the way via flight sim to somewhere outside the borders where ATS can reach at the moment that sounds great to me. But yes, one of those places we were thinking about was Penticton. And uh, they mentioned about that Hollywood-like sign. Nice to see that it's here. Do you have IHOP in Canada as well? Oh, dang it. Really? That 
it's Rick. You can really hear how the engine is struggling. And I should use these kinds of engines more. It makes things a lot more exciting that you just can't pull anything. You, know, you really have to work for it. Granted, you'll always be the slowpoke that everyone is overtaking, but I mean, you're carrying something humongous. So I guess that's understandable. Man, just those sounds, right? Oh, don't, don't smash into the guy. <laughs> oh, we haven't tested the horn yet. Let's go and test it out. Um, cover your ears. It might get loud, okay? You've been warned. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. Two kinds as well. You have the normal horn like this. Sounds like a car, actually. And then you have an actual like train horn. Could you classify that as train horn with the air horn? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, those unique left turn signals from Pro Mods Canada. I like. And I think we should be able to turn left here as well since we have that one. We just have to give way to the opposing lane to the opposite side. If I understood those rules correctly. Okay, good. Man, look at how beautiful these mountains are all around. Can you not think about driving and flying through here? Um, where do we deliver this? And why do you need this much lumber, guys? Well, maybe they're building a new, new structure. I've heard, at least in the US, Lumber was getting pretty expensive for the past couple of months. With all the demands for house renovations, I guess, huh? Interesting stuff. Maybe that's settling down again now? I'm not so sure. Oh, here we go. Okay. Nice. Not very... Oh, I almost drove over that bit. Yeah, it's a bit steep. I almost drove over that. I thought that was a simple line. Let's fix that properly. Let's lower the windows. You can hear it with the windows open. And even the the crack sounds are amazing, aren't they? Z mod has outdone himself again, in my opinion. In my biased but very accurate opinion. <laughs> and from what I saw. He actually has other people, experts, content experts, chiming in on this, like actual mechanics who are familiar with the engine, who are familiar with the truck. And that's why he delayed the release for this one. I think he was supposed to release this yesterday or the two days ago. It got delayed because he was reviewing it with the content experts, mechanics and uh, they still found some gaps but now he's happy with it they are happy with it and that's why we get it and i am happy with it how about you guys are you happy with it let me know in the comments but yes amazing amazing stuff i know i was very reluctant about it in the beginning when i heard about the pre-order 549 pounds that's highway robbery now that I hear it, not really. Take my money, Z. Take my money. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it, I must say. Your mileage may vary, but for me, this is as good as it gets. This is what makes trucking super cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's straight enough. Whew. All the hissing. Uh, yeah, maybe not that straight as I imagined, but <laughs> they let us go. Beautiful. Just makes the entire experience much more immersive, doesn't it? Ah, uh, amazing. Okay, late. Do we still earn at least anything? Yeah, that's just a slap on the wrist. That's okay. Good. So, 
Expect me to drive this in the upcoming clumsy trucking stream on Friday. Looks like we have plenty to explore. Oh, amazing. Okay, thanks a lot, Z. Thanks a lot, everybody. Looking forward to your comments. Have a nice day, guys. Clumsy trucking. Catch you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.